Although I think it's a big part of our game. Uh, you know, as, as a Waratah, it's it's sometimes hard to remember that you actually represent more than just Sydney. Uh, you represent New South Wales, and as a Wallaby, you represent more than just the the major capitals where we play the games. You represent the whole of the the country. So, uh, from that point of view, it's uh, it's nice to get back out here and really connect with uh, some of the fans that don't normally get uh, you get to socialise with. So, uh, it's nice to be out here and doing that, and um, it, it's just nice to I guess they, they've got a lot of energy because they don't normally get get uh, exposed to us. So. So uh, to come out here and really connect with them is a lot of fun. The highlight definitely for me, we had a young boy at uh, early on who asked Pat how, do, how did he get his guns so big. Uh, that put a big smile on Pat's face considering he's been working pretty hard on them. So. Uh, how, how do you get your guns so big? <laughs> <laughs> Without sport we, we, have to, we have to carry a lot of weight. Um, I'm about 105 kilos. Um, if I didn't train or do weights or anything, I'd probably be 90 kilos, 85 kilos. I'd be like Lockie. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I eat a lot of food. I, and when I say I eat a lot of food, a lot of healthy food. So I'm eating you know, a lot of fish, a lot of red meats, a lot of chicken, a lot of lentils, my wheat bix for breakfast, dairy, and my fruit and vegetables. <laughs> Um, so myself and Lockie, uh, Lockie's driving a beautiful Lexus for ride with David Hayes, uh, Dubbo Lexus. And uh, yeah, we're just off to, uh, to the Rouge training, which is a junior, junior club here in Dubbo. Uh, we just spent the last two hours at St. Lawrence Primary School. Uh, we, just, we spoke to the kids uh, a little bit from, you know, how we were brought up in our, in, from city to country life and, and how we developed our rugby and you know, what we had to achieve to go through that. So uh, we could do a bit of Q&A as well and then we played a few games. And so I, I really feel like I connect with the kids out here. They're all quite polite, they please and thank yous, and they're all willing to have a go. And you know, I think that's really defines uh, the country people and the, the country attitude. Uh, it's been a pretty busy day. We've uh, we've got out to a couple of schools, and we're just uh, out here at uh, Dubbo Footy now uh, at, at the the Roos Club. Uh, we're just jumping in and and uh, I guess getting in and ripping into some of the drills with the kids, and um, just sort of feeding off their energy and, and trying to teach them a, a few lessons and uh, give them a, a bit of advice. You know, I first started and I met my idol at one of these days. I was in uh, Club Wall or Camp Wallaby as a, you know, as a 10-year-old. So, um, you know, that's where it all started for me. So uh, I'd like to think that, you know, there's a young little Wallaby out there somewhere and hopefully we'll get in there and impact on his life and, um, you know, have a bit of uh, influence on, on his future. So, uh, you know, from that point of view, it's, it's, I think it's an important part of, uh, you know, why we're out here and I'm glad we can be here.